Starting at 125 pounds, Iowa Spencerly is the number one undisputed guy at the weight. Michigan's Nick Suriano has since graduated and moved on, but even if he was coming back, I still think Spencer would get that top spot considering he's beaten him in the past and Spencer is going for his fourth NCAA title this year. The next guy at 133 pounds is also undisputed considering he beat the number two guy at the NCAA championships last year. At number two is Oklahoma State's Dayton Fix and number one is Penn State's Roman Bravo Young who's looking for his third NCAA title this year. There are a few other guys looking for multiple titles who are ranked number one. I'll tell you who those guys are in just a bit. But first we have to talk about 141 pounds because there is no returning NCAA champion to this weight class. Nick Lee has graduated. Keyshawn Clark has graduated. Jaden Ironman is gone. Sebastian Rivera is gone. So many guys graduated from this weight class that it opened up a ton. So who is number one? Well, really it was between two guys, Real Woods of Iowa or Cole Matthews of Pitt. And considering Matthews beat Woods in last year's NCAA Concies matches, I'm giving the number one spot to Pitt's Cole Matthews. Now that we're at 149 pounds, we can talk about Cornell's Yanni Diakamahalas, who is the number one ranked guy. It's no surprise considering he has only one collegiate loss. That was to Jaden Ironman at 141 pounds, and nobody at the weight last year beat him. Yanni is, just like Spencer Lee, looking for his fourth title this year, which is why he is also undisputed at this weight. At the halfway point now at 157 pounds, we found out some recent information that kind of change these rankings. So who should be number one at the weight? Will Lawan of Michigan, who had a great season last year, Peyton Robb, who picked up a win against your Corey Teamer, or somebody else like Austin O'Connor, who's won a national title previously at 149 pounds. Well, it's the guy who was initially thought to be going 165, but is staying instead at 157. No, it's not David Carr. It's Princeton's Quincy Monday, who made the NCAA Finals last season against Ryan Deacon. Right now, he's ranked number one. So should David Carr be ranked number one at 165 pounds? Well, no, he's bumping up a weight class, and he didn't win a title last year. It's between Shane Griffith and Keegan O'Toole, and that decision is pretty easy, even though Shane Griffith is a national champion Formerly, Keegan O'Toole beat him in the finals last year, so Mizzou's Keegan O'Toole is number one at 165. But my question for you is, is that going to stay? Because this weight is crazy crazy loaded. The next three weights are pretty easy to rank because bing, bang, boom, it's all Penn Staters who won national titles last year. At 174, it's Carter Starachi who beat out Makai Lewis, who's coming back for Virginia Tech this year, but that's why he gets the number one spot. At 184, you have Aaron Brooks, who has wins over the number two and number three, Parker Kekeisen and Trent Heidley of UNI and NC State, respectively. I think we're going to see Aaron Brooks jump to new levels that we haven't even seen before. Then at one. 97. Even though the match was close in the finals with Jacob Warner of Iowa, Max Dean ultimately gets the number one ranking here. But that just leaves heavyweight, and I'll tell you who's number one as well as who's the number one team in just a second here. But you have returning national finalist Colton Schultz of Arizona State. Also, Mason Paris of Michigan, who has losses to Greg Kirkfleet, and Greg Kirkfleet of Penn State has never beat Anthony Cassiope of Iowa and Anthony Cassiope has never beat Mason Paris, but you see the circle there. But the one thing, the guy that I already mentioned that stands above them all is Colton Schultz. He was a national finalist last year. He had a decent match, as decent as you could, against Gable Stevenson in the finals. And so he gets the number one spot to start the season. And because Penn State has four returning national champions and are the returning team champions themselves, they are number one in the team rankings right now. But they have a lot of new guys coming into the lineup, including one of these freshmen who's included in my list of the top five freshmen starting out this season. If you haven't checked out that video, I highly recommend it. The freshmen are going to be fun to watch this year.